Okie dokie, so today we're talking about rules for horizontal asymptotes. There's really three rules, and they depend on the degree of the numerator and the denominator of a function. And so the first rule I have, and this is going to take a while to write out, but basically it says the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator then the limit equals zero. Basically that means a horizontal axis and to or as to at the x axis. And I'll draw a picture of that in a second. The second rule is the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator. And so that means the limit equals the ratio of the leading coefficients. And then third rule, the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. And then the limit does not exist. Does not exist. Okay, so I know these look kind of confusing, but I want to go through them kind of each individually in detail. So first one, if the new degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, so that's going to look like 1 over x squared. Um, so that's going to be, it's going to have a horizontal asymptote at zero. So on a graph, it's going to be at my y-axis, so it might look like that. And that's it. So it's getting closer and closer to the x-axis, but it's not going to touch. That's rule number one. Rule number two, the degrees match. So if I have a 3x squared and some other things over a 2x squared and other things in my equation, then I know that if this is 1 and that's 2 at 3.5, which would be right there, that's where my horizontal asymptote is going to be. And so it could go something like that. And so the horizontal asymptote is just at the ratio Basically, the fraction, you're going to take the two leading coefficients, and that fraction is going to be where your horizontal asymptote is. And then for rule number three, um, the degree of the numerator is less, or is greater than the degree of the denominator. So that would be like x squared over x. Really, that's just going to go to x, and that would look like this. So there's no place where it has, it has no horizontal asymptote. And that's why the limit doesn't exist for that, because it doesn't have one. And that's uh, kind of rules for horizontal asymptotes. I hope that's helpful.